Picture this, a dimly lit living room, the soft glow of a vintage television casting a warm, nostalgic ambience. It's a lazy Sunday afternoon, and you're curled up on the couch, wrapped in a cozy blanket. The black and white screen comes to life, and there she is, Ruth Gordon, with her magnetic presence and unmistakable charm. Your earliest memory of this iconic actress might be a scene from one of her classic films, or perhaps a glimpse of her radiant smile on the cover of a magazine. Ruth Gordon, a name that invokes memories of laughter, tears, and a sense of timelessness in the world of cinema. Her career spanned decades, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of many. But did you know that behind the scenes, she was just as fascinating as the characters she portrayed? Let's dive into some lesser-known facts about Ruth Gordon, from her humble beginnings to her extraordinary journey through Hollywood. Join me on this captivating exploration of a remarkable woman who made us laugh, cry, and believe in the magic of the silver screen. Ruth Gordon, a notable figure in the world of film and theater, left her mark with her remarkable talent and contributions. One standout aspect of her career was her portrayal of Dolly Levy in Thornton Wilder's The Matchmaker. Gordon's performance in this role showcased her versatility as an actress, earning her critical acclaim. Additionally, Ruth Gordon's legacy extends to the world of cinema. She appeared in two films that were selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress due to their cultural, historical, or aesthetic significance. These films are Rosemary's Baby and Harold and Maude. Notably, she also made her mark as a writer with the film Adam's Rip, which also found its place in the National Film Registry. While some may recognize her for these achievements, it's important to note that her influence goes even further. Her impact on the industry is exemplified by the fact that a character based on her was portrayed by Gene Simmons in the 1953 movie The Actress, emphasizing her enduring influence on Hollywood. In summary, Ruth Gordon's multifaceted career in both acting and writing left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Her portrayal of Dolly Levy and her contributions to films in the National Film Registry are testaments to her enduring legacy. Ruth Gordon, a celebrated actress, faced a pivotal moment in her career in 1965. After a 22-year hiatus from films, she eagerly returned to the silver screen with a role in The Loved One. Despite her advanced age, she was enthusiastic about rekindling her movie career. However, her excitement turned to disappointment when her role was cut from the final release print of the film. It was a setback, but Ruth Gordon was not deterred. Undeterred by the setback in The Loved One, Ruth Gordon persevered. Three years later, in 1968, her resilience paid off when she won an Academy Award for her role in Rosemary's Baby. This achievement not only marked a remarkable comeback, but also cemented her status as a talented and enduring actress. Ruth Gordon's career was not limited to the big screen. In 1956, she received a Tony Award nomination for Best Actress for her work on Broadway, further demonstrating her versatility as a performer. Apart from her professional life, Ruth Gordon had an intriguing personal story. In 1929, she gave birth to an illegitimate son named Jones. The child's father was Jed Harris, an Austrian-born film and stage producer. This event led to the dissolution of Harris' first marriage, which had not produced any children. It was a private aspect of Ruth Gordon's life that intersected with the world of entertainment in a dramatic way. Ruth Gordon's journey in the world of film and theater was marked by both triumphs and challenges. Her determination and talent ultimately propelled her to success, earning her an Oscar and leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Ruth Gordon, a notable actress in her time, had a deep passion for her craft. Her love for acting was partly ignited by witnessing a remarkable performance. She went on to marry twice in her life. At the age of 32, she gave birth to her only child, a son named Jones Harris, on October 16, 1929. Notably, the child's father was Jed Harris, to whom she was not married. Ruth Gordon's accomplishments in the entertainment industry were impressive. She holds the distinction of being the only actress to have won both the Best Supporting Actress Oscar, which she earned for her role in Rosemary's Baby in 1968, and the Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series Emmy, which she secured for her performance in Taxi in 1978. Ruth Gordon's dedication to her craft and her unique achievements in the world of film and television continue to be remembered and celebrated.
Ruth Gordon, a celebrated actress of her time, had one grandson named Jack Gwen Emmett Harris, born on March 17, 1972. While her career in Hollywood was marked by many notable achievements, her personal life also held special connections. One of these connections was her close friendship with actor Bud Court, with whom she shared the screen in the iconic film Harold and Maude in 1971. Their chemistry on screen was palpable, and their friendship extended off screen, creating a lasting bond that enriched both their lives. Ruth Gordon's influence extended beyond the silver screen. Natalie Wood, the renowned actress, held her in such high regard that she named Ruth Gordon the godmother to her firstborn, Natasha Gregson Wagner. This gesture speaks volumes about the profound impact Ruth Gordon had on those around her, not only as a talented actress, but also as a beloved friend and mentor. Ruth Gordon's life was a tapestry woven with friendships and familial ties that underscored her warmth and generosity, qualities that endeared her to many. From her close bond with Bud Court to being named a godmother by Natalie Wood, Ruth Gordon's legacy reaches far beyond her on-screen performances, making her a cherished figure in Hollywood's history. Dree, 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 dree. Ruth Gordon, a renowned actress of her time, had a remarkable career filled with interesting highlights. One notable event in her early life was her attendance at The Pink Lady, a play held at a Boston theater. The show starred Hazel Dawn and left a mark on her budding theatrical aspirations. In 1956, Ruth Gordon earned a Tony Award nomination for Best Actress for her impressive stage performance. This recognition showcased her talent and dedication to her craft. Despite a 22-year hiatus from films, Ruth Gordon's passion for acting never waned. She eagerly returned to the big screen in 1965 with a role in The Loved One. However, her part was ultimately cut from the final release print, a major disappointment. Undeterred, she persevered and, three years later, achieved a triumphant moment in her career by winning an Oscar for her role in Rosemary's Baby. Ruth Gordon's journey in the world of entertainment was marked by resilience and talent. Her dedication to her craft and her ability to overcome setbacks made her a celebrated actress in Hollywood. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. Ruth Gordon, a notable figure in the world of cinema, left an indelible mark on Hollywood. One significant aspect of her life was her close relationship with actress Natalie Wood. Wood held Gordon in such high regard that she named her the godmother to her firstborn, Natasha Gregson Wagner. This gesture reflects the deep bond they shared, a testament to Gordon's warm and endearing personality. Gordon's impact on the film industry extends beyond personal connections. Two of her films, Rosemary's Baby and Harold and Maude, were selected for inclusion in the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. These movies were recognized for their cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance, cementing Gordon's legacy as a talented actress. Additionally, she made her mark as a writer, with her film Adam's Rib also earning a place in the esteemed National Film Registry. In another intriguing connection, a character inspired by Ruth Gordon was portrayed by Gene Simmons in the movie The Actress. This further illustrates the impact and influence Gordon had within the entertainment industry. Ruth Gordon's multifaceted contributions to film and her cherished relationships with fellow actors like Natalie would continue to be celebrated. Her presence in classic films and the lasting impression she left on her peers make her a memorable figure in Hollywood history. Hollywood history. Hollywood history. Hollywood. Ruth Gordon, the accomplished actress, had several interesting facets to her life and career. One notable fact is her close friendship with actor Bud Court, whom she co-starred with in the 1971 film Harold and Maude. Additionally, Ruth Gordon had a complex personal life. She was married twice and gave birth to her only child, a son named Jones Harris, at the age of 32 on October 16, 1929. Notably, the child's father was Jed Harris, to whom she was not married. Ruth Gordon's only grandchild was Jack Gwyn Emmett Harris, born on March 17, 1972. Furthermore, Gordon's deep passion for acting was partly inspired by a performance she witnessed. Unfortunately, specific details about this particular inspiration are not readily available in the provided sources. Ruth Gordon's life was marked by her significant contributions to the entertainment industry her close relationships with fellow actors, and the complexities of her personal journey. Journey, journey, journey. Ruth Gordon, a distinguished actress, achieved a unique feat in the world of entertainment. 
She is the only actress to have won both the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role in Rosemary's Baby, and the Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series Emmy for her work in Taxi. Born on October 30, 1896, in Quincy, Massachusetts, Ruth Gordon had a remarkable career spanning several decades. Not only did she excel in film, but she also left her mark on television and the stage. One interesting aspect of her personal life is her illegitimate son, Jones, born on October 16, 1929. The father was Jed Harris, an Austrian-born film and stage producer. This affair led to the breakup of Harris' first marriage, which had produced no children. In addition to her accolades in film and television, Gordon's talents extended to the theater. She portrayed the character Dolly Levy in Thornton Wilder's play The Matchmaker, demonstrating her versatility as an actress. Ruth Gordon's career and life were marked by remarkable achievements and intriguing personal details. Her ability to excel in different mediums and her unique Oscar and Emmy wins set her apart in the world of entertainment. This concludes our glimpse into the fascinating life and career of Ruth Gordon, a versatile actress who made history with her exceptional achievements. As we draw the curtain on this cinematic journey through the remarkable career of Ruth Gordon, it's time for you to shine in the spotlight. You've delved into the depths of her artistry, witnessed the magic she wove into every character, and felt the emotional resonance of her performances. Now, it's your turn to take center stage. Reflect on the moments when Ruth Gordon's presence on screen touched your heart or stirred your soul. Perhaps it was her indomitable spirit in Harold and Maude, her wit in Rosemary's Baby, or the poignant wisdom she shared in Inside Daisy Clover. Whatever it may be, your connection with her work is a testament to her enduring legacy. Share your cherished memories, thoughts, and insights about Ruth Gordon's performances with the world. Let your voice join the chorus of admirers who have been captivated by her talent. Your unique perspective adds a rich layer to the tapestry of appreciation for this iconic entertainer. In celebrating Ruth Gordon, we celebrate the power of storytelling, the art of character portrayal, and the profound impact that one artist can have on generations of viewers like you. Your reflections are a tribute to the enduring magic of cinema and the eternal charm of Ruth Gordon herself. Thank you for your time, your passion, and your appreciation of Ruth Gordon's contribution to entertainment. Your participation enriches the collective memory of this extraordinary artist. Together, we keep the flame of her legacy burning brightly, burning brightly, burning brightly.